Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. We're going to talk about the new live action boss at Disney. Of course, they fired the other guy, the guy who greenlit all the live action uh, animated remakes. And they have a new guy in here, but now the new policy seems to be if the movie doesn't need to exist, we're not going to make it. So that's dismal. I think that's a that's a win. Uh, yeah, if they actually do it, I, I mean, mean, I don't know. That's dismal. That sounds like a, a that sounds like an improvement. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about this. Let's see what's going on with this. Uh, maybe this is maybe this is Disney starting to wake up to the fact that people don't want reheated, regurgitated live action remakes for current year that they should just leave their animated classics alone. They'll move on to something else to strip mine it. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. sure, but you know, whatever. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Now, if they are backpedaling on this, it has nothing to do with them just waking up one day and having a cathartic realization that it was a terrible idea in the first place to remake live action or remake their animated movies into live action, right? That, 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 that's not what happens. Basically, the money's starting to run out. And uh, Disney's looking at the financials and they're looking at the box office from the last couple of live action remakes. And they're looking at the backlash toward, you know, Little Mermaid and Snow White. And they're like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't do this anymore. Yeah, I think that's the second half of what you're talking about. The, the box office has, yeah. has not done well. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a minute because it does tie into this. Now, first, I want to make sure that Sean Bailey, they're not saying he was fired, but it, it, it does he was come fired. across. Because Sean Bailey was apparently out there trying to get himself a job at like Netflix and some other places when he was never in the running for it. So he was trying to jump ship from Disney because his contract ends next year. So he was already trying to jump ship, which Iger might have got wind of that. Now that been strike one. Or that wouldn't been strike one, that been strike two. Strike one was the fact that this dumbass is the one that keeps thinking live action remakes are the way to go. And he keeps thinking that when we did that article, we read the article on him last year, the video, yeah. where we talked about how he basically was like calling people bigots because, you know, it, they, they need more representation and people can't take that kind of attitude. And it's like, yeah, and your Little Mermaid made like $46 million in profit. Yeah. And you keep changing things just like a change of things. Snow White has been a train wreck of epic proportions. And that looks like you're trying to go back to what Snow White should have been in the first place, but I think it's too little too late. You got the actress out there talking about how she don't need no man in this one. And she's, you know, fairest of them all means who's the best leader. And Yeah. No. Well, we have that and we have uh, them trying to fix Marvel, apparently, trying mm -hmm. to walk things back at Marvel. The only one that seems immune to this... Uh, the only major brand that seems immune to this uh, uh, reshuffle is so far is Star Wars, which is dumb because they're like the accolade's going to be a cluster. I guarantee oh, yeah, it. Yeah, because they're the way that the way you hear them talking about it, it's like oh, for, for yeah. And then the Ray movie. Let's let let's bring fans back. Let's do another Ray movie. Ray Palpatine movie. Yeah, nobody um, wants. That. I'm not calling her Skywalker because she's not Skywalker. So yeah, Kathleen Kennedy for whatever reason. Is like Teflon. She must have the. She must have like the flight logs for you know certain, certain islands. islands or something because I cannot understand for any yeah. under any circumstances why this woman stole a job. Yeah. But that's you know neither here nor there. So David Greenbaum, he was the co-president over at Twentieth um, Century Studios, which been like Searchlight and stuff like that. So he's getting bumped up to being the the new live action guy. And Hedwig's exact title is... Uh, President, live action, yes. and 20th Century Studios. Right. Yeah. So, but what's cool is he basically is under the impression that he always asks this question, does this movie need to exist? Yeah. Why was no one asking this question before? Because they were looking at the financials and they were like, if this movie exists, we might make money. Yeah, but you... you, you Okay, the live action remake started out strong, but some of the original ones were very different from the animated film. So it was like, okay, well, it's a kind of different take. You know, Maleficent especially was completely different. Um, Alice Wonderland was very different. And as time went on, they started doing ones that were more like the animated, like Beauty and the Beast and, and The Lion King and stuff, and they did pretty well. And then they just thought, let's keep just doing more of this shit instead of actually making new things. And then we get to Little Mermaid, where they decide they're going to, you know, it, it, I'm sorry, the live action does not translate as well as the animated. None of these do. But it was really bad. And the princess song is so flipping stupid. And now our sisters are all different. Everything's all different just for the sake of certain agendas. And um, I have actually nothing, no, I don't really, I have no nothing against Halle Bailey because I think she did pretty good. But it was weird. 
and now they only made forty six million dollars in profit. And and they're and they're gonna they name, they were naming stuff like oh we're gonna do another Moana which we're gonna talk about. We're gonna do yeah. Sword in the Stone. We're gonna do everything that we you know. I think they were doing Princess and the Frog and Rapunzel and everything out. They're doing them all. Like, just we're going to live action everything. Yeah, including the ones that weren't very big hits. Sword and Stone, I don't think, was a very big hit. I can't wait for them to do Black Cauldron in live action. They, were, they were talking about it. It should have been live action. Well, that one, I mean, know? some of them would work. Like, yeah. Black Cauldron would work. Honestly, Sword and Stone, I think, would work in live action. I think uh, Atlantis would have been a great one in live action. We know they're doing Hercules, but they're already race, going to race swap that one. And, and some of these would have worked out pretty well, but they didn't pick the. No. Until now, and it's just, it's just, and how much these each of these movies cost? Like the budgets on these are nuts. Oh, at least two hundred million. And they I mean, don't do well. No, they, they just don't. They, they had a couple of hits early on, and they thought they could keep going back to the same well again and again and again and again. Yeah. And it's not working. So, so now we got this other guy in here, and I, I actually came from Puck News, so I'll take you over here. And I think Disney's trying to shift the way they're thinking about films. Because they're making, they're talking about like um, Greenbaum. He was part of, you know, Searchlight people were the ones that did poor things. Now, poor things only did like 100 million worldwide, but it's winning all kinds of awards. And then you have the box office, what did really well last year Oppenheimer, yeah. Barbie, the Mar Super Mario Brothers movie. Those things are what did really well. So now they're looking at that and they're like, oh, we need to pick somebody who's going to, you know, think outside the box and bring audiences in for another Barbie type, you know, mm. deal. Not the live action remakes that nobody wants. Yeah. Who the hell wants Bambi the live action? So I think, you know, they can use a variety of excuses to weasel out of these movies they've announced. They can use the strikes. They can use the economy. They can use, um, you know, the fact that they had uh, changes at the top. They can they can say, well, changing market demographics. Oh, the, uh, the, mo the movie theaters aren't doing as well. Oh, the whatever. They can use a lot of excuses to cancel or quietly cancel these movies they've greenlit. Now they're, you know, balls deep in the Snow White. Oh, don't um, even. That's just nasty, man. I'm just saying. All, no one's allowed to be balls deep in the Snow White. She don't need no man. They can't. They can't walk that one back. There's a couple I think that they like the Stitch movie. They're really, really far invested into. That yeah, that might be okay. It might be okay. That one might, but, but Snow White, it's a no. loss. You should just cut your losses and ran. Um, it's like dating a crazy woman. You should just cut your glasses and hide. Um, but they're talking about like, you know, that with Greenbaum, he's going to oversee 20th century and his leader is Steve Asbell, I think who was this, used to be his co-president with him, I think. And they're talking about how he would come, Greenbaum would come to these meetings and he would say, does a movie need to exist? And that, yeah. that, that is the question that somebody need to be asking this entire damn time. That was Iger's job. Iger's job was to tell them, no, that's a stupid idea, but let's not do that. But all Iger looked at was, well, Aladdin made money and, uh, you know, the first Maleficent made money. So, yeah. Second this, one didn't. Second one didn't. Um, I don't think uh, Cruella made very much money either. Cruella but it, would have probably done well if it had been released theatrically. but it, And that was a completely different take on her, though. You know, it was a pre, it was a, it was a early, like a... Um, how she became Cruella, you know, kind yeah, of story. Nobody so that was wants, different. Nobody wants to sympathize but Cruella de Vil, though. That's true, but Disney does. Every every villain has a, a, a sad, sad backstory. So, interestingly enough, one of the things they were talking about that they were going to remake was The Sword of Stone, which I mentioned. Mm. And now they're just talking to the director of The Sword of Stone, and he's basically like, yeah, they were planning for it for years, but now it's kind of on hold. He said it would be a great project, but Disney put it on hold, and that was the last year of it. Yeah, I think they're going to put a lot of these things on hold. I think I think this might I mean this might be good news. This might be that they, you know, push the pause button on all these live action remakes. I remember people were excited about Bob Iger when he first came on board because they were angry that Michael Eisner was greenlighting all these directed DVD sequels, mm -hmm. the cheap quills. But at least the cheap quills, you could ignore them. You could say, well, they're not canon because they're they're on DVD and they're just yeah, like they're a fault, whatever. DVD or VHS. But I would argue the live action remakes are worse. I mean, a lot of people are ignoring them anyway, but it's just like they're released theatrically. They make a big, a big deal about it. Um, they try a lot, in a lot of cases to push the live action versions of the characters over the animated versions of the characters. You've got the people associated with the movies coming out and saying like, well, we had to remake it live action because the old one was racist and misogynist mm -hmm. and bigoted 70, 80 years ago. I mean, like, oh my God, really? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> 
So yeah, but the change that you're going to make it worse. And it's like, just, just don't you make new things. But yeah, so they're talking about the Sword and Stone is one of them. And then we also talk about Moana. Now, interestingly enough, they were going to do the Moana live action, right? And when they announced the Moana live action back in April, it was April 3rd of 2023, um, it got a big blip, okay? Yeah. Um, and you can see, you know, it was doing okay as it went. And then, then they announced Moana 2. And here's Moana 2 on this chart. This is like Google Trends comparison. Moana 2 is up here, okay? People want Moana 2. They do not really want Moana the live action. It's staying pretty much down here. People didn't understand that they're like, Moana's not even 10 years old. And That's it. And they bring that up action. in this article. Yeah. They said, you know, they said, do we need another Haunted Mansion movie? No. They said, do we need, does a live action Moana need to exist when the original came out only eight years ago and an animated two is happening? Probably mm. not. And the, and, the, and the chart's telling me, people, okay, Moana 2, we want live action. Okay, yeah, you like Moana. Like, like Moana 2, <laughs> boom. Probably Googling it to be like, what the hell are they thinking? What, what, what? I just heard about this. Let's Google it and see what's going on. You know, yeah, pretty much. So the Moana live action doesn't have anywhere near the interest of Moana 2 would, but just shows you again, nobody wants the damn live action remakes. No. They're really pointless. Unless, like you said, we talked about, they had more obscure things that were like in the, I think the late 70s, early 80s, or the ones that were in like the later 90s and the kind of like in early 2000s that kind of got lost. Those ones you might be able to get away with because they don't have, they're not as um, beloved and for some reason, even though they're really good movies, than other ones. One thing we do not need is a live action Home on the Range or Brother Bear. No. I, I think you're pushing it with Bambi. No, they never, they never said they were doing those. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just Bambi, they did say they were doing. They but, got lucky. They got lucky a couple of times. They, you know, John Favreau's Jungle Book, I thought was actually pretty good. It is a little weird that since we didn't have actual animals on set, he spent his entire day filming a little boy in his underwear mm -hmm. on a green screen. That's a little weird, but you know, the movie came together okay. Yeah, <laughs> she was fun to get that in there, didn't she? I, I would, I would kind of be weirded out by that. I'd be like, yeah, hey, what, so what'd you do today? Well. I had some kids stripped down to his underpants and I, we filmed them for about, you know, eight, 12 hours. And we're going to do that for the next three months. And eventually we're going to put some animals into it. But for now it's just this kid rolling around on a log and this kid, you know, and I'd be like, Oh my God, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Is this legal? Yeah. Um. Anyway. So yeah, it sounds like the new person asked the question that no one else ever seemed to ask before. For whatever reason, which has been the first question most of us would ask, why do we need this? And uh, hopefully, we're going to see some improvement. It doesn't mean we, it's yet to be proven. We don't know yet. But I'm hoping that we're going to start hearing cancellations from these live action remakes. However, some of them are pretty far along and they're going to need content in the meantime because you can't just like, you know, develop a new movie like that. Like some of these are in development, they'll probably just push through because they need content for the theaters. I think you're going to have to wait a little bit until you see the end of it, but I don't think we're going to get all the ones they announced. Yeah, that's kind of what, what's going to be interesting about this is like how how is Disney going to be able to pivot quickly enough? Because that that's their live action plan, right? Their, their plan was live action remakes, Marvel, and Star Wars. And they're kind of pausing Marvel for now to try to figure out what the hell they're doing with Marvel. It sounds like they're going to walk back a lot of these live action animated remakes and who the hell knows what's up with star Wars. So they're, you know, they were making sure they had movies in the theater, like every six weeks of something, mm -hmm. you know, they do a whole, and now it's like, yeah, it's, you know, a year or two from now, it might be that Disney only puts like two movies in the theater in a year because that's all they've got ready. And that's not going to be good. Oh, they're going to do more than two because they have they have Marvel and all the other stuff too. So they release old stuff. But so. they are pulling back on like with Marvel. They're only doing they're not doing anywhere near the number they were going to plan on doing originally. Because good. I think they think that they suck. Well, I think they think that we don't do as many. They won't step on each other. But the thing is, the movie still has to be good. Yeah. And you're still going to have to win people back. And I think you have a lot of work to do. And it's not just going to be as easy as I'm just going to stick less in the theater. Deadpool three, I think we'll get people back. Well, I guess the the new uh, Captain America isn't till twenty twenty five now. Yeah, I think so. they had to push that back. They had to do reshoots on it. And well, that one and the was the the um the thunder was it thunder? Oh, the, the, the thunderbolts. Yeah, thunderbolts. I don't think they, either one of those are going to do hot. Uh, they're not going to. I mean, I don't again, think anybody cares? They're they're basically Disney Plus shows on the big screen. The Captain America movie. 
It's going to have Steve Rogers in it, and it's basically a continuation of the Disney Plus show, mm -hmm. and it, we saw what happened with, with the Marvels. It was a continuation of Disney Plus shows, and people aren't going to pay for that shit. No, I don't think they're going to do well. Your best chance is Deadpool 3, but I think... I think that that's this is a, a, a small reprieve. It's a little Band-Aid on a, a gaping wound. It's not going to do much. It's going to get saturated and fall off, and then it's yep. gonna, this blood's going to start to flow. Anyway. <sighs> Anyway, are we going to wrap this? Up? I think we're going to wrap this one up. It is interesting to see that Disney might be starting to pivot, but again, it's you know, it might be too late. I think it's too late. You can't steer the Titanic away from the iceberg fast enough, as we've learned. And uh, you know, it, it's even if they would decide tomorrow they want to change, like you know what, we're going to change everything. Well, they still have to make money in the interim, especially since they're publicly traded and they have shareholders. They can't say, hey guys, we're going to pause everything for the next five years and get our heads out of our asses and try to refocus and investors are going to be like so you're not getting any movies for a couple well no because they suck and they're gonna be like that's unacceptable you need to have movies even right. if they do suck uh, a plus note for pixar inside out 2 seems to be trending higher than moana 2. i mean not overall but like just it had a much higher yeah like when it was announced it might saying. be okay i mean that that's one that I mean, if any Pixar movie is going to do well, it's going to probably be that, unless it's a complete disaster. Uh, and I hope it's not a complete disaster. But well, it depends we'll who was behind it and what the thought process was. Right. So, we're going to wrap this up. We're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.